Hi friends, welcome back. This is Srinivas Reddy. One of our YouTube subscriber asked me how to do compare two list using VLOOKUP. That means by comparing two sheets, how to find out the duplicate values. Now in this video, we'll discuss that concept. Here we'll discuss how to compare two list using VLOOKUP from the two different shades. In that we'll find out duplicate values also by using VLOOKUP. In this video, I am going to use if function and is NA then VLOOKUP. That means if is NA and VLOOKUP, these three functions I am going to use in this formula. Friends, now we'll see how to do this one. Here I'm taking two shades. One is a sales data one and the second one is a sales data two. See here in the sales data one, there are rows and columns. The columns are like ID, product, customer, quarter one to quarter four. And the rows are 278. 278 rows are there in the sales data one. And coming to the sales data to same columns, but the rows are different. See here, there are only 274 rows are there. Wantedly, just I have deleted four rows in the sales data to for comparing these two shades. Now we'll see how we'll do this one by using VLOOKUP. First, go to the sales data one. We'll write the formula here. First, any formula starts with is equal to, then VLOOKUP. Already we discussed completely VLOOKUP function in the previous sessions. There are four arguments in the VLOOKUP, lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. That range lookup is optional, that's why it is in the square brackets. First of all, we'll take a lookup value. So what is the lookup value? Just I'm taking ID. It is A to cell, comma, table array. So table array means uh, we'll select the data from the sales data too. Why? Because just we are doing comparison between these two sheets. Now go to the sales data to select the range. See from A to shift, right arrow, control shift down arrow. Now it was selected a complete range. The range is A to colon G274. Now we have to press F4. Otherwise, if you are dragging down, then the range is going to change. So that's why just I'm freezing the range by pressing F4 key. Otherwise, you can select a complete columns like A colon J. So it will select a complete entire columns till 10 lakhs 48,576 rows. In that scenarios, you no need to freeze the data. Here I'm selecting the range and press F4 comma. Next we'll take a column index number. Just I wanted to take a first column only. Just based on the first column, I'm going to do comparison one. So the column index number is one. So we'll get the first column data. Next, I want exactly. So that's why I'm going to take false, otherwise zero. If you're not giving anything, by default, it takes one. One means true, true means approximate match. So we'll get nearest data. But in this scenario, I need exact match, complete exactly. So that's why we'll give zero or false. So I'm going to give zero. Otherwise, we'll write directly false also. Then bracket close. Now press enter. See, then double click. Double click on the corner. It will be autofill. See, the formula is lookup value, then table array, column index number, then range lookup. See here, just I'm taking sales data too. That's why the sheet name was came here and the range column index number exact match that's why i'm taking false now press enter see here na that means uh, this 1011 is not there in the sheet 2 like a uh, few values uh, again uh, 
somewhere else uh, any this 1045 also not there because we deleted manually that four rows uh, for comparison purpose uh, now for this we look up i'm adding other function called is an a means uh, the matching value the finding value is there or not it will check uh, see then bracket close is an a then we'll find the vlookup enter say false okay only this one is true see is an a means not available is not available in that uh, four situations only we'll get the true remaining all are false because in all the situations we got the result uh, in that uh, four situations only we don't have the result uh, there only that will execute uh, like is any it is not available so instead of that uh, just we'll use another function called if function otherwise uh, we'll use if error we'll use uh, if condition is equal to if bracket open uh, so instead of uh, true and false just i wanted to write something like for example if it is is any then i wanted to write uh, like a uh, not found then otherwise just uh, put it double quotes without any space or anything see if it is uh, is any then we'll get the false see if it is that then we'll get not found otherwise blank then press enter see here in the place of uh, that uh, true we got the not found because we are writing the formula is na is na then not found otherwise nothing we are giving here so in that uh, four situations we'll get not found see in all the situations we'll get the blank that uh, non matching values are getting uh, not found so like this just we'll do the comparison and uh, we'll find out the non matching values here now this time just i wanted to highlight the duplicate values that means uh, if there is any value is uh, not matching with the sales data just i will do highlight in the sales data one see select the range okay complete range from the a to cell next uh, go to the conditional formatting new rule there is an option called use a formula to determine which cells to format here you can do copy and paste that formula otherwise we'll type directly is equal to is n a then bracket open so what is the lookup value here a to see just i am freezing only column so i don't want to freeze row so just we look up bracket open look of value is dollar a2 just i'm freezing column only i don't want to freeze the row because just i want to highlight the complete row so if you are freezing both the row will not highlight see that's why just i'm freezing only column then a table array go to sales data you can select this complete range next uh, see by default uh, the range uh, got the dollar symbol and we no need to freeze again then comma 1 comma 0 0 means exact match then close the brackets uh, see now if it is that then we'll apply one color go to the format next uh, go to the fill apply any one color then go to the font like a bold font color will be white your wish you can apply any format next okay okay see look at there if there are values duplicates like uh, if it is not matching with the sales data two that was highlighted with the one color see just you can do any formatting and if you want you can do the sorting also this or all otherwise you can do the filter also now this time just we'll do the filter that highlighted data only first we'll take the filter go to the data tab filter otherwise control plus shift plus l and uh, go to the id filter by color filter by color select this one see only we got this four rows only that highlighted one that formatting one only and uh, we'll do the compare this uh, two sheets like this and uh, the values or not matching values are will get uh, highlight like by using conditional formatting so this is how we'll compare two lists by using uh, vlookup thank you friends please subscribe our youtube channel and uh, share these videos to your friends